Good morning guys, Katie here from Mitza Creek Farm and it's been a minute since we've done a video. Uh, everything has been running full steam ahead and so uh, there have not been enough hours in the day. We've had some filmed but they're all series and so um, the whole series hasn't been filmed and so uh, I have not been able to post anything um, between work schedule and farm schedule and trying to get absolutely everything done that must get done. Um, filming, or YouTube has taken a back seat. So I thought I would give a little bit of an update video this morning. As you can see behind me, it is glorious outside and it is nice, a little bit windy. We have had record high temps this past week and so we have been busting our butts outside getting lots of stuff done. Before we get started on uh, updates showing you all the different projects we're working on, I thought I would give you an update on uh, the electrical situation. So we had the electricians out to get started for solar and um, we had the power company out and they put in a meter there and took out the other meter and there is no power line that runs from that transformer to the house anymore. So that horrible line is gone. And if you look, let's see if I can get that to show up again. There we go. That main power line stops right there. So it stops there, it goes down to the meter and it crosses under the driveway kind of by where Beck is right now. And it goes over there. So that is where um, things get interesting. We had an electrician out and we got an estimate and everything and it ends up nobody was on the same page. The power company wasn't on the same page. We weren't on the same page. The electricians weren't on the same page. The electricians weren't on the same page as their engineer even. And so everybody was on a different page and so this is not finished. Um, we need uh, some more work inside the two buildings in order for us to get solar. Um, and in order for those poles over there to be removed. So right now it goes underground over to those poles, goes up to the poles, and then it goes from those poles back in the buildings. Well, you remember we were gonna have everything underground um, over here, past this, this pole right here. So um, we are about halfway done. We got to a point where we had to stop. Um, the electricians felt we had to stop. And so um, we will need to have them come back out at some point and um, get all of that fixed. Um, they said the grounding needs to be repaired and then there's some electrical work in the green shed that needs to be repaired. Um, the building, the barn, it's pretty simple. Um, it's, so that's, that's close to being done. Um, the grounding needs to be repaired, which is kind of on our list of things to do. Um, soon but with that said um, they are not ready for solar so now I'm back here um, behind the house and interestingly about a week after the electricians left our septic system failed and um, we knew that our septic system was super old and we had just been babying it um, using it very limitedly um, that kind of stuff and so of course it failed so right now um, the money that we are using to go towards the solar is actually going towards a new septic system and of course when the septic guy came um, they went to go do the perk test and the way it would be set up the drain field would be six inches too low because we have a super high water table here so they have to put in I don't know if it's a mound system, I wasn't here when they talked to Owen about it, um, but they have to put in a different system that's going to cost more. So thankfully we have the money, we have everything um, set aside for it. So I feel like for the first time in our lives a major expense is ready to go and we are, I mean it couldn't have happened at a better time, but that was money that we had earmarked for solar. So solar has to get put on the back burner until we can save back up and um, we are, I think this week, um, they will be replacing this.
so <clears throat> in the midst of all that um, my little office that I use to run my businesses out of and the farm out of um, I am completely maxed out on space and I am um, over cramped in there um, it's to the point where I'm actually keeping uh, a lot of the stuff elsewhere and then I have to when I go to use them I have to uh, go get them out of storage and bring them in and that makes it so it's not very efficient so we are um, in the middle of kind of redoing the milk house a little bit the milk house is actually in really good shape and so we're replacing the windows we're installing heat putting a subfloor because it's a concrete floor and so um, my office in the next few weeks um, in my workshop and everything will be moved to the milk house which is very exciting so we are uh, elbow deep in projects and deliveries and everything for that and um, it should make things a lot more efficient when everything is said and done um, I should be able to have a spot for everything and have everything um, right at my fingertips so that I can get things done a lot quicker. So then over here, I'm in front of the uh, where the rams and the goats were for part of the summer here. Um, we actually have the rams and the goats moved over to their other pen. Um, Owen extended that and got the high tensile up over there and so they have uh, over an acre of woods there that they are cleaning out again. They actually uh, were there in our previous videos like for previous years um, and so they were happy to get back in there and get all that stuff eaten down and they're still working on it and um, they have quite a bit done but like they've never had access to those pines over there um, or up on the other side of the chicken coop that kind of stuff so it's quite a bit larger so they are enjoying their time in there we'll probably keep them there for the winter um, it is breeding season coming up for the rams and so we will have to move them um, to the breeding pen and um, but they're they're content in there for now they're far away from the use so that's good because then we don't have anybody trying to escape so then over here in the goat pen um, I was thinking about winter plans and everything that we're doing for the winter and we decided let me get in the shade here so you can see a little better there we go we decided the easiest solution since the goats and the rams are going to be kept over there for the winter the easiest solution for us to get everybody ready for winter and to make things easier for snow plowing was to keep this space for our cow and her calf and so um owen and beck right now are building a shelter for her and i'll show you that in a minute um but the plan is is that we are we got a new hay ring because our old one um she climbed in and busted up and everything and so we just ended up getting a new one so that we don't need to deal with it um but they are building a shelter in here for them and then once our big round bales for the year get delivered then we'll move her in here with the weather being so nice it's not emergent um so as long as we get her moved before we get enough snow that we have to plow on a regular basis we will be good okay we put in we buried the some fence post legs and we just took some extra of this four by eight siding and put it up. And now we're just putting up, we're gonna put up a tin roof. And we put the, sh the opening on this side so the cow can go in there. So we have a three sided structure to keep her out of the wind. So originally we were gonna move some or put something in here that was movable and portable. So they uh, when they're out on pasture next year, we can just move this with them and not have to put them in the barn every night or bring them to the pasture by the barn every night because we have coyotes and stuff. So, um, so we were going to build a, a movable shelter 
but by the time we got the lumber and stuff um it was going to be on the calendar too far out and we had this nice weather um in the forecast and so we decided we're just going to use what we have on hand and get this done now i'm planning on planting pumpkins here um next year and so this is gonna have to all be taken out which is fine this is all stuff we had on hand so we literally have no money invested in this um the siding is left over from the high tunnel and the stone coop and this was just a piece of mdf that they found somewhere um they do have to do a little bit more right there and then in the peak um but they're using even lumber that was like in a scrap pile so totally free and able to just get it done uh, they worked on this for a few hours the other day got the holes dug got the sides up got it kind of all framed in and so today they're gonna take the hour or so and get this roof on Go down a little bit flatter. So you might have noticed that there's no ducks and no turkeys wandering around. Um, the rest of the ducks and the turkeys went to the processor last week um, and we picked those guys up and I'm so glad that we got a lot of them. We got half of them uh, halved of the turkeys and I'm glad we did because the halves all weighed somewhere between like eight and a half pounds to almost 10 pounds a half. So I'm very grateful that we did that. So we have 10 more turkeys and three ducks for the freezer for the winter. And um, when we have some more time and the weather's cooler, we're gonna actually cook up some of that and freeze it um, in free food saver bags so that we have pre-cooked turkey on hand for um, easy dinners and that kind of stuff. If we're making soup, we can just open up the bag and throw it in. So um, that is going to be for when it's colder though, because we have to do as much stuff outside as possible. Are you ready for this, Mom? Yep. Oh boy. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Ugh. Whoa. Look at you. Good job, bud. Does that make your arm tired? No. No? It'd make my arm tired. My arm's tired just filming it. I just thought of a really good Christmas present idea for him. A metal mall because we have a whole bunch of rubber mallets but a small metal one would be perfect for him because he does a lot of projects like this. Oh that's a big one. All right stop. Oh, It's in. It's in. Good. Go. Good job, back. Come on, kitty, kitty. Come on. Come here, Charlie. Come here, kitty, kitty. Yeah. I think we missed the hole. Say hi. All right. You can go a little 
So go your way. Go out. Slide your in out. So that's what's been going on around here. It's been absolutely crazy. And um, we've just been, with this nice weather, we've been trying really, really hard to get as many of the outdoor projects done as possible so that when we get snow, we are ready for snow and we have all these last minute things done and we're not scrambling to do them in the nasty weather. But that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time on our next video. We'll show you what we're doing to get ready for the snow and um, getting ready for Christmas tree season.